we can <laughs> we get this call from ABC and Lionsgate uh, at the time, and they were doing this show. Uh, they said it's gonna be a dramatic show, all about uh, Nashville and stuff like that. And uh, we weren't like super excited about. It. We said, "You hey, what the heck? We'll go do the pilot." So uh, from the very, very first day. Uh, they had the whole band there, you know, to be the band behind the character Raina James on the show, played by Connie Britton. She's so terrific. And uh, we met uh, Chip the first day because now you know the show, you know how it goes, and uh, uh, we just all became terrific friends. And we found out what an incredible um, songwriter and singer and entertainer he is. This guy has done so many things that, that uh, if you don't know this, I'm sure some of you probably know a lot about Chip, but you don't know how many television shows and movies that he has been on and in. Uh, he worked on stage as Buddy Holly in the, mu in the musical Buddy over in the UK. Uh, he performed that at the White House at one point. Uh, he was one of the revolving members on Whose Line Is It Anyway? And you probably saw that show. I was such a huge fan of the show and all. Uh, not to mention that, but also uh, uh, the, the show The Office, you know, with Steve Carell in season three. He was a regular on season three. And so uh, I was pretty familiar with Chip already when we started the show, but he, uh, he made Nashville his home. As soon as he came here and Nashville embraced him and he embraced Nashville, he moved his family here and bought a house in Brentwood in a year. And uh, this is his home now. What an incredible guy, what an incredible entertainer, singer, songwriter, all those things. Please welcome our friend Charles Eston. Yeah. 
<laughs> How about these guys? One more time for six more. Can you turn me down right now. Uh, I want to do a song right now that um, was on the uh, Nashville Christmas CD. How many of y'all have that thing? Go get that Nashville Christmas CD. I was fortunate enough to get to sing Blue Christmas, and my producer was uh, Jay Demarcus from Rascal Flats. So thank you, Jay. This is, uh, I think you're on this one. All right, so, uh, Andy's going to get, do you have any Christmas jokes? Anybody? I don't have any Christmas jokes. Andy's going to get me a tuner real quick, because this is a high-tech and well-run operation on my behalf. I walked up here not being able to tune. That's my fault, but we're going to sing uh, Blue Christmas, which I have to tell you real quick, I'm going to do another uh, song about Elvis right after this one, so I'm going to tell you that it was because of Mr. Andy Childs that three, is it already three years ago? Two, two, yeah, three Christmases ago, I got to go down to Memphis and turn on the lights at Graceland. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate that. I didn't get you anything. These make excellent stocking stuffers for the guitar player in your life. Anyway, so um, I'm a huge Elvis Presley fan. We got any others out there? Woo! Well, let me sing a song by him before I sing a song for him. This was uh, his interpretation of Blue Christmas. This is Jada Marcus produces for me. Those blue eyes Still 
I've been release, releasing a brand new single every week. You turn me down one second, Matuno. I've been releasing a brand new single every week on a thing called Every Single Friday. Anybody familiar with that at all? If you're not familiar with that, please go ahead and check that out. Um, these guys are the guys that play on, I think, just about all of them so far, and I couldn't do it without my producer right there, Mr. Steve Mandel. I'm so fortunate to have him in my life. He is going to continue to... Uh, Occupy that role until his daughter Wrigley comes along and steals him away right. With her big career that's coming. She's the one that's saying happy birthday for those of you that don't know. Talk about a tough act to follow um, So um, I've been doing all these and uh, what I generally do is every Thursday I announce what the next song is going to be what the day the next day's song is going to be on that Friday um, This is a little different. I'm going to tell you right now that this is the song that's going to be coming out on the Friday before Christmas If I'm not mistaken, that's going to be the 23rd, I believe, would be. The, you can check your calendars right now. Is that correct? That's correct. All right, well, I'm here to tell you right now, I'm announcing for the first time uh, early that this is the song that's going to come out two days before Christmas. I wrote this with a friend of mine, Mr. Andrew Rollins. And um, it's this is a very sad Christmas song. Is that all right? I mean, I just sang Blue Christmas. Um, is that all right if I sing another sad one about Christmas? It's funny because, personally, I love Christmas. It's just about my favorite day of the year, and actually might be. Um, but still, I was thinking about, for Christmas, it can be very, very hard for some people. There we go. And so I wrote, um, this is a song about somebody that I remembered a Christmas with somebody, and now they're having a Christmas without them. This is called, I Won't Cry on Christmas. It's a cold December evening Setting up the tree And doing all those Christmas things you do Bring calls me sing as I'm merry And bright up she be But the sun's already gone And so we do But I won't cry on Christmas No, I won't give in To all the tears that try to fall Like the snow out in the wind It's the coldest winter It's ever been And I wish I didn't know What I was missing Without your kissing, but I won't cry on Christmas. I used to take that silver angel, I'd put it up on top. You'd clap, and we stand back and just hold hands. And then I'd say, I love you. Let me stop Now I'm here Just praying that I can You best be It's hard to fight This side
thanks so much for again. That's going to be coming out on iTunes the 23rd, two days before Christmas. And um, go buy a bunch or I will cry on Christmas. <laughs> no, I won't. I talked about going to Graceland before. Um, I'd like to play a song right now that uh, as soon as they called me, and make no, no mistake about it, they called me because uh, Mr. Memphis himself right here, he's tied in real good with that uh, Memphis Mafia, not the real one, the original one. A little bit, a couple of the real one. Yeah, you actually are, yeah. He knows a guy. Or I should say, he knows a guy. And uh, anyway, so I got to go down there with these guys, and we got to play songs right across the street. Is that Elvis Presley Boulevard, I'm assuming? Yeah. Right across the street from Grace on an Elvis Presley Boulevard. And then I turned on the switch that turned on the lights of Graceland. Um, although I'm not sure it was the switch. I'm no electrician, but I'm pretty sure that giant 2x4 candy cane was not actually operating the lights of the house. Do you think it was? Okay. In any event, so I got to turn that on, and I'm so grateful to everybody at Graceland. And the second they called to ask me to do that, I was just tingling like a, like a little boy. This was a big, big deal to me. And immediately I started thinking about Elvis and how much he loved Christmas, how much it meant to him, and um, whether it was what he did to Graceland. I mean, they're carrying on his tradition of decorating that, that beautiful place. And on top of that, some of the albums he released, the Christmas albums, were some of my favorite. And so I started writing a song about this, and um, on the, I tried to see how many songs I could use from that Christmas album, that, that first real big one, and um, I got a bunch of it, and uh, this song is uh, dedicated to uh, the people at Graceland who had me there, and when you buy this one online on iTunes, we put this up, this first single I ever put up with these guys, these guys, and every single penny of that goes to the Elvis Presley Charitable Foundation that helps all kinds of people, so many charities that they give to, so... This goes to that. Um, I hope you like it. This is called The Lights of Graceland. And wait till you hear these guys back up on me. Here we go.
Thank you very much. <laughs> stage and let these boys do what they do so very, very, very well. You're wearing the hat. You got the laugh for us tonight? Oh, there we go. It's pretty good. Oh, I'm here again. Well, from the king to the boss, this is my favorite Christmas song right here. Come on, you guys. You know this one. I want you to sing along. Let's have a little fun here tonight, all right? You better watch out, you better not cry You better not pile, i tell you why Santa Claus is coming to town Santa Claus is coming to town Santa Claus is coming to town Let me tell you what Thank you. 